Hello everyone, you are watching We Had That, and today I'm going to be talking about the Merman action figure from the Masters of the Universe modern line, better known to fans as the 2000X line. Merman came out with Wave 1 in 2002. He was one of the first six figures to be released for this line. And before I get into it, I just want to admit something. As a kid, I was not at all a fan of Merman. I didn't own a Merman from the original Vintage series. Uh, I, I don't know if it was the head sculpt. I don't know if it was the stories in the mini comics. I don't know if it was his corn sword and the fact that it looked like something electric was going on. And I just didn't understand how he would set off an electric sword underwater without electrocuting himself. I thought maybe he's like part electric eel. I don't know. But anyway, whatever the case, I wasn't a fan. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we are going to be talking about this awesome redesign from the 2000X line done by the Four Horsemen. A lot of you are probably familiar with what the Four Horsemen did with the Masters of the Universe Classics line, or maybe you go all the way back to when they were working on Spawn back in the 90s, or maybe even more recently, their own line of Mythic Legions action figures, which are in scale with the Masters of the Universe Classics. Regardless, the Four Horsemen do great work when they're sculpting action figures, and this redesign of Merman is no exception. For the first time, Merman came with a trident, which I think he should have come with from the beginning, and then he's got a redesign of his corn sword here. And if you press this button on his back, he attacks with his trident. Not only that, but he's got this removable armor that uh, is similar to the armor he had on the vintage figure. Only this time, you can put the sword right there in the back and store it so that he can concentrate on fighting He-Man or Stratos or whichever one of He-Man's buddies he's fighting with just one weapon at a time. So there you go. The new 2000X Merman. He looks great. He's got uh, articulation at the hips, the, the legs really do have a wide range of articulation. And his right arm has a good bit of articulation here at the shoulder and here at the wrist. His left arm you can't do as much with because it's got the, the button feature, but he does have wrist articulation. And he's also got a good bit of articulation here at the head. It's just right and left. It's not on a ball joint or anything, but still it's, uh, it's a pretty good amount of articulation there. So this figure came in two different versions. There was uh, the original version that I'm showing you here in 2002. And then in 2003, they did a repaint. So not terribly different, but still the 2000X line had those two versions. And there was also a mini figure of Merman. Now, again, I said as a kid, not a huge fan of Merman, but after seeing this version, I've gone on to try to collect all the different variations of Merman. Again, I really think they did a great job. I think the Four Horsemen always do a great job, but particularly with this redesign of Merman, which has gone on to influence the Masters of the Universe Classics version, the version of Merman that was in the cartoon that was out in 2002, and uh, all of the other versions that have come since then. So there you have it, the 2000X Merman. Did you have the 2000X figures when they first came out? Are you trying to collect them now? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please give a like to this video, share it on social media, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, if you're a fan of toys, you should know about Toylanta, the biggest toy show in the southeastern United States held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit toylanta.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>